Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, here with a little bit of an apology. Uh, this is the only video I could get out because last night got a little long, <laughs> long in the tooth. Uh, there was uh, a thing that went on for way too long uh, just before I got home. And then there was a little bit of a little bit more of uh, partying than I should have. So uh, I ended up having no time to record. I was way too much not in the mindset to record. So that didn't end up happening. However, this stream I've been sitting on for a little bit. So uh, here's that for you. And uh, hopefully that's enough of an apology for you guys to understand. Uh, otherwise, uh, I mean... I'm sorry. That's all I can say. It's taking some getting used to, getting back to the flow. And uh, when things happen like they did, it just is the perfect storm of bad events happening all at once. So I hope you can forgive me. And here's the stream. And now I'm ready to get into it. Brand new game. Well, new game for this series I have my own file of course but uh new game for this particular series of playthroughs and new game in different play style than I usually do we'll see how it goes because usually I like my well-roundeds but uh I'm going to see if I can change it up a little bit. Change up my usual way of playing things. So, for the YouTube side, this is where the stream will actually start. <laughs> Alrighty. Now that that's done, let's uh, get this started, shall we? I think we're going to do it on normal. All the subtitles absolutely on, of course. Why wouldn't I? And uh, let's get going. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term mm. of service, you will become the minor master term of service. Mm. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Why do I have the feeling the minor term of service is not going to be all it's cracked up to be? They changed up the date. 12.05. Last time I saw that, it was 10.23. Huh. Interesting. They change it each subsequent playthrough. Trying to look cool, and then the equipment decides to fuck with you. Fugitive. Wanted by Halcyon Holdings Board for Crimes Against the Colony. I was about to say Halcyon Corporation. That's not correct at all. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Well... What do you expect? It's capitalism. Alright. So, here we go. This is typically the sort of all-around good that I like to do. At least as good as I can get it. Typically. That's typically my playstyle. However... I want to change it up a little bit. 
I want to change up how I play. I won't go for anything bad. But I will be putting points in certain things a little differently than I do with uh, others. Like uh, strength, going to be average. I think I'm going to put that point into dexterity. Huh. I think I'll keep a mind the same. But, uh... Put the point from temperament into charm. Because I would like to think I'm charming. I would like to. I know it's not true. But I would like to. But, uh... Yeah, there we go. That is what we're looking at. For right now, anyway. We're looking at dexterity being high, charm being high, and intelligence being... Okay. Good. So one would say. I... Ooh, they must have been feeding you Spacer's Choice Rations. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know what Spacer's Choice is, I am... Um... <laughs> Now I understand that joke. Um, I kind of don't want to do detriments. But at the same time, it would be kind of funny. It would be kind of funny. Temperament. You'd need a navigational computer to find your temper. I see. <laughs> That's uh, one I haven't heard before. No passive health regeneration. Oof. Oof. I've kind of gotten to rely on that. That's... That that would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Hmm. Let's, let's keep that at average. Um... Let's see. This would affect hack, medical, science, and determination. This would affect lockpick and engineering. Maybe I'll take it out of intelligence and put it into perception. Bonus to extra headshot and weak spot damage. That is pretty good. But, uh, that critical damage overall is pretty good, too. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I can hit uh, headshot and weak shots. Usually. Uh, it's tempting. It's tempting. It's very tempting, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's go to next. Now, two-handed melee is really low, which, I mean, to be expected. I didn't put anything into strength. Uh, handguns is already at 20. Hmm. Interesting. So is dodge, which is a feature I don't use that often in my main file. Maybe I should. Lockpick is at 20. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick to unlock are free to open. Nice. Hmm. So. Which ones will be my tagged skills? That's a good question. It's a good question, isn't it? Um, I you think... You are going to paint the system red, my friend. I think I might do ranged. I kind of want to do dialogue. I might actually get rid of ranged. You could make a vicar doubt the law. <laughs> that is that is something that is pretty impressive. Uh Now that I've learned enough about the game. Okay. So. Huh. I do like the idea of cower 
uh, scramble and terrify. I do like dialogue. I'll be honest, I like the concept of having more dialogue options. Huh. Science and engineering. Eh, they would be useful. Tech skills improve your knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Each point in tech significantly increases medical, engineering, and science skills up to 50 points each. Hmm. Let's see. Medical would be heal amount granted by the medical inhaler and effect duration. Hmm. Let's see. Science unlocks the ability to tinker any weapon or armor in the workbench, increasing their power. So it's science, not engineering, that does the tinkering. Okay. Engineering just does the uh, weapon and armor parts aspect. All right. Well, in that case... Wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Is that what I did? Okay, I guess that's what I did. All right, in that case, uh, with that in mind as well, I'll uh, keep science in mind in the future. Engineering is a uh, repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Huh. Twenty percent chance items you repair will become pristine. Oh, that's. It's so good, though. It's so good. Okay. Um, yeah, since I have this at uh, the first notch already, and that's pretty good, I think, now that I know that there are some handguns that will take all the ammo types, including heavy, uh... I think I might want to go handguns uh, for this playthrough. Uh, in my other playthrough, my own personal one, I did long guns. But for this one, I think I'm going to do handguns. Which, uh, this game actually makes it so you can choose one you prefer a little bit. And more optimized towards that instead of just having to uh, be a generic, you know, across the board sort of thing. Okay. All right, I think I like how the spread works out. So let's go to aptitude. No discernible aptitude. <laughs> Colonist sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. <laughs> you're just trying to say that I'm uh, a bit of a shit? Is that what you're saying? Determination. Is determination a thing? Plus one determination. Is that actually a thing? Hmm. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing determination as a thing. Oh, it's under leadership. Huh. Increases the maximum health of your companions. Hmm. Hmm, okay. All right. Drink effect duration... Bureaucrat. <laughs> the universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. <laughs> Boy, do they. Halcyon is no exception if something isn't stamped, fil filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth, certifi birth certificates included. Blah. I can talk, really, I can. Cashier, subgrade, non supervisory. So, not what I am. Okay. In real life. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the ka -chunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up. The redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. Are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah about that hmm. 
Farmer of dirt. A farmer of dirt. Worms need dirt and food needs worms. You're just doing your part for the worms. Okay. Food additive tester. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious borst smoothie. I, I don't know if that can be considered delicious, okay? <laughs> but okay, whatever you say. But most of the time, it means swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise. Now that your stomach lining has the consistency of a broken-in saddle, it's easy to explore your culinary limits. Oh my god. Okay. Janitor sanitation class. You've spent... Ugh. I can read and talk. It's just usually not well at the same time. You spend your evenings kneeling over ominous stains with a bottle of caustic solvent and an absorbent rag. How the blood got there is irrelevant. Above your pay grade and beneath your interest. You're an artist of erasure. When you're on the job, there is no trace to be found. If you say so. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that team spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Right. Medical Technician Junior Grade. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons, who entrusted you with stuffing cotton balls into pill bottles. <laughs> okay. Experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illness doesn't take a formal education when a search terminal and a little imagination will do the trick. I guess so. Scientist Assistant Level Zero, Class A. Adds an extra point to science. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop... Uh, I can talk. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get into this business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. <laughs> ah, okay, that's true. That's probably true. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, since I know science is uh, directly correlated to tinkering, I think I want to go with uh, this just a little bit. But at the same time, having no discernible aptitude would help a little bit when it comes to companions. Since you can now have two with you at any given time. All right, I think You're I'll go with so much more than your designated profession. Well, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that very much, Phineas. I had to think about the name for a second. <laughs> so, let's go to appearance. I don't remember that that was kind of cool okay i am male face uh, that's close enough to mine skin tone i am white as shit bat shit technically or birch that's, that's not the point <laughs> i'm white that's a, that's the main point eye color something that will not be visible for very long go there you go that's perfect a little better yeah that does control it the way i thought uh there that's that's fine brow vertical does that do what i think it does yes it does okay uh there that's fine that's perfectly fine i horizontal uh oh i see it Pushes them out. Pushes them in. Hmm. That's about there. Um, jaw vertical. What does that do? Oh, I see. It does that. Um, my jaw's on a little 
Yeah, it's about here. It's about here. That's fine. Um, mouth size. Uh, yeah, it's about there. A little bit. Mouth vertical. Yeah, right there. Pretty much right there. That's fine. Nose size. Oh boy, here we go. Um, massive schnoz. Not that massive. Um, yeah, that's about, that's about right. That's about right. Nose vertical. Nope. That's about there. It's about there. That's about right. Um, nose width. That's, that's about right. Nose tilt. Uh, there. It's about right. Yeah, that's fine. Cheeks. Oh, I mean, right now they're on the tubby side, but right here. I'm going to make myself look a little prettier than my real life self. <laughs> Just a little. All right. Hair. Go with what my current hair looks like. Is it possible? Well, I mean, that's almost there. Um, a little. A little. Not quite. A little. Hair color. All right. There are so many options for hair color. I completely forgot. There's so many. Okay. Uh, let's go with there. That's fine. Eyebrow style. Okay. Trying to find my actual eyebrows. It's a pain in the ass. close okay now we're just going to the friggin weird territory okay that's fine that's close enough facial hair that's pretty close to what I already got yeah this is fine facial hair color match that to my current hair color This looks a little too red. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the angle. It's probably what it is. The angle on the lighting doesn't make it look correct. That's fine. Age. Let's add a little bit of age to him. Just a little bit. Scars. Uh, yeah, nah. You won't add mine. Uh, dirt. Why is it all clustered around the eyes? The fuck have you been doing, bud? All right. Yeah, that's fine. Name. All right. Whoops. Helps if I go far enough. There we go. Stray cat. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm so... Look at me. So pretty. Pretty rugged fellow. Which I'm not in real life at all. Alrighty. Cool. No discernible aptitude. Dexterity high. Perception high. And charm high. Everything else is average. I like this. I like this. I like the look of this. Start game with this character. Absolutely. Uh-oh. 
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Yay, I'm getting picked up. To get out of here. This frozen hole. Not likely, bootlickers. Not likely bootlickers. I like his I like his attitude. Welp. You managed to get me out, so there's that. Ugh, where, what? What? Is it? Who were you? Ah, there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A little. A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space. And forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. Okay. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for uh, 70 years. Can what? You? 70? Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. Uh huh. Explosive cell death, but it's um, more of a liquefaction. Okay, I don't. Oh. Uh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. I was hoping that's the case, because I don't want to die like that. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Okay. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Okay. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. All right. Uh... <laughs> that would have been a cool moment if it wasn't for that. Sixtieth anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Yeah, about about that. We weren't so lost, were we, bud? Can you hear me? Is yeah. this thing working? A little. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and Hawthorne. he should be waiting for you at the landing site. All right. He to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a huh. specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You okay. Know, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check Good. with you as soon as you land. Okay. Good luck. I'm uh, all colonists are counting on you. Well, way to put the pressure on. Okay, well, here we go. Ow, oh, that wasn't smooth. Or painless. Okay, let's pop that out. Uh, okay. Alright. Ah, you've landed good. Yes. Should be close by. A little what in too close. Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Um, well. Oh, well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Hawthorne won't mind <laughs> taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Ah, uh, well. Not sure it's I true, but... this fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. A little bit. A little bit. It's a little gross. It looks bad. He's like still holding onto the beacon too. Oh jeez. Oh man. It's messed up. 
Oh, well, that's how the dodge works. Okay. So it's jump and dodge, essentially. It recharges a lot faster than it does on my other guy. Okay. Maybe it just feels like it does. I'm not sure. Time to go down and up. Okay, basic controls. So far, so good. Basic sprint. All right. Hmm. I can't just go weaponless. I need something. Okay. I was kind of hoping that there would be a weapon sooner rather than later. But it uh, doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, well. He can avoid enemies. Detection as well. Oh, hey, Marauder Thug with no legs. Yeesh. On cut, while sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them. The awareness meters over enemies' heads tell them tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Ooh. Okay, okay, time to get back to the grass. Okay, so far so good. Uh-oh. Well, oh, but, 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 but. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Calm down, Poochie. Or, if that's a Poochie. Okay. Down we go! Ow! That is a not pleasant noise. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Well, yeah, but... I mean... The biggest one being I'm not dead is kind of helpful, you know? Kind of nice. And... Oh! Okay. Use emergency medical inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one Adreno. But then again, I do have... I do have a slow heal, so... I don't really need to use it right now. Hi there, hey, buddy. You. Come here. Okay. It's one of the barrels. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. You all right? Sit still. I'll patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Yeah, you don't yeah, mind you do. Getting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh huh. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Yeah. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? What? I barely scraped by with my life. How is it that shitty a gun? Exit with those canisters. Okay, um, so let me get this straight. You went to try and take on a marauder, which is, I'm assuming, um, evil guy I should be aware of and trying to avoid, and you shot yourself in the side because your gun misfired. Huh. Did no one teach you proper gun etiquette? Like at all? Because you should, you should not have had it in the position where you could have shot yourself in the side. Like at all, bud. That's, uh pretty bad it's pretty fucking bad what's this about marauders gibbering flesh-eating law-breaking flesh unemployed lunatics for unemployed some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open that's a real good way to attract marauders 
See those canisters huh. by the entrance? Uh. Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? You, um... You already have proven you're not adept enough with a gun that you shot yourself in the side. Trying to take out a single marauder. Dude, you are a danger to yourself and others. Give me the gun. I'll get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Wow, that Not was easy. Spare ammo. <laughs> Not counting the bullet in my side. Here. Well, I mean. My saber, too, for patching me up and all. Saber, too? All Spacer's choice weapons hmm. are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. 30% less choice. likely. Yes, nailed it that time. There you go. 30% less likely. If what you say is true in that it malfunctioned, regardless of that 30%, that's not a ringing endorsement! At all! At all! Okay. Um, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? A little. You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. I'm sure I hit it a couple times on the way down. I mean... Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Alrighty, then. Nice, subtle advertisement there. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? No? We don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but... I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Fair enough. Um, I'm not that, nor is it a drug. I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned that you immediately assume hope is a drug. Says a lot. Okay, I'm off. Bye bye Ooh. This is a... Fancy looking gun here. Ooh, what do we got here? Tartarus sauce. Oh, come on. And pre-sliced bread. And bread is misspelled, by the way. Just noticed. Mag. Gourmet salt tuna fillets. Whoopsie doopsie. That was not what I meant to do. Dehydrated water tablets um dehydrated does that defeats the purpose of them being water tablets what damn it my ears Ugh. sorry oh, what just happened can you hear me what in the hell this Welp, so much for, uh, talking to him constantly. Hey, hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. TTD. For short, of course. Due to complications stemming from your being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain process to your brain processes time differently and my brain processes how to use my mouth differently apparently Blah. processing <sighs> I am not drunk enough <laughs> to justify the amount of times my mouth is fucked up today I swear pressing the tactical time dilation button shl slows down the world giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your ti the tactical time dilation. I was trying to say the full thing, but it's probably better just to say TTD. Meter very slowly while moving and attacking drains it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. And it's the other button. Hold A to continue. Cool. I was trying to smack you. Hey, I got your shit. Uh, some objects explode when hit. Shoot them when enemies are near them to kill. Like this one. 
<laughs> oh, fuck off, you. Okay, well. There we go. Better. Ooh, you have a sentry saber yourself. Take all of that. You have found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between the weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. Cool. Ooh. Zero G brew. What do we got here? Ooh. Killed a sprat as well. So that was probably the best action I could have taken. Fish sticks. Again, spelled wrong, but that's probably a marketing thing. Trying to seem cool for the kids. Spelling it with an X. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Cool. This will require two. I have five. All right. Hey, telescoping staff. Hell yeah. Another weapon, which I probably will never use because I saw it was a two-handed. And I am worthless with two-handers. So it's not even worth really anything to me. I see. Still more of these bastards. There we go. Yep. So far, so good. Got you. And... Got you. Man, I reload really quickly. Hey, look at that. Look at all that good shit I now have. From you... And from you. It's a little bullshit that you didn't give me any ammo. Pretty sure you were still firing at me perfectly fine. But alright. Whee. Whee. Oh jeez. That was a weird hitch. But alright. New game, by the way. Well, new-ish. It was new as of 2019. This is now 2020. Oh, jeez. Why is it only hitching there? Of all places. Right there. Alright, well. Further I go. Well, hi there. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Right. I gotta get killed from over there. I'm kind of outside of their range. Hi there. Talk to the lieutenant. She's certified in customer service. Customer service? Am I considered a customer? Hi there. I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that. How's that worse? Landing in a veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap them with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh, so I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? I mean, I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, uh -huh. you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch uh, my legs. So. A couple of winks to catch your breath. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> A couple of winks to catch your breath. That's why you aren't charging down there to slap that fine on the uh, bad parking person right now. Uh huh. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge all the time? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, 
thing is I'm the acting manager in this situation. Yep. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. There you go. That's the spirit. You do it. I'll be over here. You have unlocked leap. Double jump when moving forward to leap forward. A great, great for closing distance. Or dodging bullets. Like you're intended to. Get the thing. Ah, uh, there we go. I was pretty sure I was doing it right, and turns out, no, I wasn't. Ooh, more stuff. Hold it to get more stuff. Rebuilt mining gear, huh? Interesting. Canid skull fin. So I was kind of right. They are kind of doggish. Oh. The sound of the walking was me. <laughs> I heard the walking and I was like, wait a second. Alright. Whee! Well, here you are. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Well, good luck with that. I will, uh, I'll be walking inside here. Bye. You can fast travel, lo tra travel, travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Um, I see Adreno. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Is it though? Because I'm Entry doing it right now. Are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo holds workbench. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. You can't stop me because you aren't currently stopping me now. Maybe if you come out, maybe I will be stopped. <laughs> maybe. Maybe you will be stopped. Who can say? The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> well, considering I can't use two-handed weapons well enough, I'm just going to break that down. Cool. And, I mean, I can use these okay, but... I don't need as many as I've gotten. This is long guns as well. Mm hmm. Hmm. That only give me one weapon part. But then again, I mean, repairing it would make it only slightly worth my while. Because I'm more of a handguns oriented person anyway. Hmm. Alrighty. Fair enough think that's all I need. This is probably the most common handgun in the entire colony. It's not a bad little gun, and it's a great source of parts, if nothing else. All right. This melee weapon is standard issue to military recruits who are taught sword play before being taught ranged combat. Coated with spacer's choice patented never dull finish, this blade stays durable for at least 20 swings. Yeah, that's a ringing endorsement. 20 swings, and then it breaks. Woo! All right. Well, I did the thing. I don't see or hear you stopping me yet. Climb. Here I am. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Clearly doesn't. Because it doesn't even have a power regulator, whatever the fuck that means. Please be advised that hmm. using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. Aww. Do you have to be mean like that? What is this for, anyway? Choosing to respec refunds all your spent skill and perk points. Then you can spend them in a different way. Price to respect will increase each time you use the machine. Huh. 
absolutely not want to spend all that. I just wanted to know what it did. Thank you for at least giving me the option to find out and then not be forced to do it. Something that doesn't happen very often. What is up here? Oh, this is just another path to get up here. Cool beans. Algae logger. Well, that seems like plunder to me. You were saying about plunder? I'm, just, I'm seeming to find a lot of plunder. You have anything to say about all the plunder I'm finding? All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Okay, you got me there. Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. Well, I mean, I wasn't intending on murdering them. At least not yet. If they gave me reason to, maybe. Alright, well, I'm in here now. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. I mean, if you're telling me to do it, that means you can't do it. So, how about no? Okay, hi there. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, Hello. the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. I Please see. Please inform that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Will it now? What are you going to do, self-destruct? Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You do realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Do you can feel disappointment? Also, you have deception protocols? Okay. Alright. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I see. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I see. Um... I'm sorry, he's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. You're welcome. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. Okay. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Um... I think I get it. You need me to be Captain Haw Hawthorne or you can't fly. Period. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Yeah, Unfortunately, good one, I can. Our is currently inoperable. Oh. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. Great. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. That's why it's not there. Okay. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However... The probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. Okay. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. Hmm. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge this identifies time? you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Uh, the Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I'm not sure I like it. I've built up my brand as Stray Cat, the one and only. The degenerate who runs around being an idiot, like nine times out of ten. Shooting guns willy-nilly. But, I mean, if you want me to be Captain Hawthorne, okay, I can do that. Sure, Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Thank you. Try to stay alive this time. 
I mean, um, sure. Why not? Skill and perk points available. Hell yeah. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling up, and you'll be upper management in no time. Upper management material, rather. You won't be allowed to be the management just because you have the material for it. Now, what am I thinking? You have to be given that distinct honor. Which I am nowhere near. Okay. You've unlocked perks. Yay! Just need to hit the button. Hey! Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Each time you level up, you earn skills. Earn skill points, rather. To spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills, up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read enough skill description, read each skill description to see what they are. I've read most of them, but I, I, can, I can check on most of them uh, as we go along. Armor consumables and status effects. Armor, consumables, and status effects, bleh, I can read commas, can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps, or hurts, skill checks and the skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Where I'm already at. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case... I have 10 points available, which I can add to the base things. And then it'll increase everything else along with it. So, what should I do? I already have tech and dialogue as skills that I have tagged. So, let's work on... Stealth, ranged, hmm, that's, yeah, there we go, put that there, whoops, thought I went down far enough, my bad, yeah, that's fine, get lockpick up a little further, and get uh, handguns up a little bit further, works for me. Now let's go for perks. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't actually save them. That was what the problem was. Welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks you buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Accepting five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Right. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, let's actually make sure these stick this time. There we go. Apply. Good. Perfect. Now, perks. You've grown healthier in your time outside of stasis. Being a shrewd negotiator may cost you some friends, but you make up for it in bits. Your companions have a lot to teach you about killing. Oh, companion kills get me more XP. Interesting. Tactical time dilation lasts longer. Surely this is normal. Sometimes you are the only person you can trust, and that's okay. You deal increased damage when adventuring alone. Hmm. Fair enough. You've become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born as a cargo hauler. Well, I mean... Maybe. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Quick and the dead. Your tactical time dilation meter recharges much faster. That would be useful. Years of adrenaline time use have led a, left a permanent pep in your step. Uh, increased walking speed. Hmm. Useful, but not very useful. 
They're not slow. You're just fast. Sprint speed extra. Cool. Increase your maximum carrying capacity. Useful. A few bits more. Vending and vendors and vending machines have additional ammo, consumables, and general items available. This effect will happen the next time a vendor or vending machine restocks. Cool. You take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. All right. After some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench's sight alignment tool is much more accurate. Hmm. You have a base armor rating which adds to any armor you wear. I wonder how that would work, but okay. Fair enough. High maintenance. I think I'll take that one because I like having my equipment last longer than the average. There we go. Beautiful. Let's do it. Let's continue going. Ooh, it's free. Hell yeah. Criminal activities. Oh, yeah. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. <laughs> no, you don't say. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Okay. If you say so. It also didn't friggin' give me anything. Joy. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Sounds good to me. Thank you for that, Ada. Again, I had to think about the name for a second. Sometimes it's just how it goes. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Yeah, we'll get to work on that. For sure. What about here? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Hmm. Sorry. Didn't mean to bring that up again. Even inadvertently. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. What is this? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. I see. So I can't open them because they're kind of broken from the fact that uh, the power is out. Fair enough. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Well then, I guess he technically wasn't always alone. Alrighty. Let's see. Is there anything else I can do here? The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. Well, I figured as much. Considering we don't have power to open up doors, I don't expect that that, that would work, honestly. Uh, what can I do for you, Captain? I'm going to talk to you a little bit. I guess I'll be back. Never mind. Fuck me. Tom's Law. Anything I say, Kenan, will be wrong. Alright, let's head out. Hi there. Yes, I was in there for an abnormally amount... high amount of time. I know. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. I mean... This ship is yours. Well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I mean... I mean, after I patched up your friend? Well, you got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me... I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Fair enough. Take care. Have fun with that. I shall be going this way. Hmm. This ship does look elegant. Well, I mean, as elegant as the big block would look. I guess that is the engines. Hmm. 
Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Let's get moving to Edgewater, because I guess that's the next place I need to go. Haha. I'm missing left and right here. Eventually I'll get it. See? There we go, got you. Oh, fuck off. Get back here, you coward. Oh, Jesus. Should have reloaded before I chased you. But now you're dead anyway, so who cares? <laughs> okay. Rebuilt mining gear. Fair enough. That's fine. Oh, jeez. You, you fuckers killed residents? Oh, my... You bastards. I'm happy I killed you. All right. The other bastard. Okay, there's you are. There's you are. Yours is now dead. English is so good when it comes out of my mouth. Hmm. Interesting little side path. What am I looking at? Hard to say. Looks like there's a thing over there, though. I kind of want to see what it is. Yeah, there's a couple of, uh... couple of things and such. Such and things. Um... Are you, though? Oh, Hooligan, you're actually pretty strong. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'll need this for the first time in a while. Oh, jeez. All right. All right. Okay. You're doing pretty strong hits on me. I don't appreciate it. There we go. Heavy ammo. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not going to get ammo for the gun I'm using now. Fuck. Is there anything more going on over here? I mean, it's hard to say right now, but I mean. Hmm. Oh. See a couple pips for enemies. Oh, fuck me. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck off. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Really? Really? It's already starting to break down? Really? Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, jeez. I'm way too low to be continuing this fight like this. Okay. Where are you at? Over here. Okay. Oh, jeez. You hit hard. But not hard enough. Oh, jeez. There you go. Camp cleared. Oh, fuck. Are you really? Are you for real right now? Oh, man. That sucks. All right, well. Got some bits. That's something. And I got two Adreno. That means the entire amount of Adreno I used is free. More or less. Hey, some ammo. Good. Some heavy ammo. Some more heavy ammo. And Saltuna fillets. Mr. Power. Sure grip. And weapon modification. Install mods at a workbench to upgrade your weapons. Changing damage types, adding a scope, improving rate of fire, and more. I'm surprised I managed to get that out without my mouth tripping over the words. Ow! Hey, a jeweled ring. A jeweled ring, you say? Hmm. Light ammo. Light ammo. 
Hey, as long as I'm getting light ammo, I'm fine with that. Oh. I... I want to wait. I want to wait until I can open that. Then again, I don't know if I'll be able to find this place again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, canid meat. That sounds like it would be something. All right. Well, where's... I'm pretty sure there were still some bodies I could loot. Huh. Maybe not. All right. Okay. Let's open this up. Model spaceship necklace. Corporation Service Award. I think that's what it said. Didn't really read it all that well. Hmm. Well, let's head up here since there seems to be a walkway up this area. Maybe it'll lead me to more things to grab. Light ammo, light ammo. Woo! Mag pick. Means one third of what I grabbed was free. Hey! Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Wait, is this marked? Is this marked on my map? Weapon management. Okay, I didn't necessarily hit the button for weapon management, but okay. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. And now item repair. Okay. Had to take a drink. Sorry. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Although... Technically costs more, as far as I'm aware. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness, ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Keep your office equipment in tip-top shape for superior company efficiency. Whatever you say. Well, that's stun baton. It's one-handed. This is two-handed, so I can just immediately break this down. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I'll break that down. Yet. This is a light assault rifle. This is a normal assault rifle. The normal assault rifle does more damage. And... Hmm. Stagger. Stagger. Okay. Okay. It also has more modification slots. One for the site as opposed for none on this one. Hmm. This fast-firing, high-spread weapon is the ultimate spray-and-pray weapon. Pray that it doesn't break, too. Okay. The TNL Stun Baton. Popular among the colony's law enforcement and those who steal from them. <laughs> well, yeah, I bet. Can't decide on what weapon characteristics are most important to you? Forget to switch weapons during a fight? This TNL assault rifle is for you. It's always a good choice. Well, I mean, if I'm going to be carrying long guns in the first place, which, I mean, I might at some point carry it as a problem solver, but it'll be a certain kind. All right. How about the codex? That's right. Makes you look through all of these. That's right. Oops. There we go. Just to clear all of these out. Because it will drive me nuts otherwise. Alright. Alright. Good. Almost. Almost done. Good. Perfect. Aha! 
Active and completed quests as well as change your current active quest. Cool. I already looted you. Damn it. If I was hoping, I would have been able to get a little something different. There we go. Um, I don't think I like the sound of that. Primal Behemoth. I don't think I like the sound of that at all. I think I'll be going this way now. Okay. Well. Upwards I go. No, nope, that's nothing. Okay. I thought it was something. What? The? Um, I'm not sure what's over there. Oh, that's other behemoths. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. What is this? Huh. There also seems to be something going on in there. Oh! There's a thing there, too. I keep hitting the wrong button as well. When I try to pick things up, I hit the jump button. Because I am not a smart man. Nor am I a smart cat. Alright. I think I've avoided whatever the fuck those behemoths are. Those primals. Well, this seems like a decent-sized town. At the same time, it seems abandoned. I kind of want to explore it. Not sure what that noise was. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, they saw me now. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Come on. All I want to do is hit the head. There we go. Just took a little longer than I expected is all. And of course, more heavy ammo. That's something I don't need. But I'm getting anyway. Ooh, patched low pressure helm. Not sure what that's about, but okay. I'll take it. No. Nothing good in that. Pick up Adrena time. Alright. What's this? Ambidextrin. Hmm. Not sure what that is, but it sounds useful. Oh, I see. If I haven't chosen a direction, it just forces me backwards. Hmm. Interesting. No double jumps here. Just uh, move in a direction or don't. I see. Come on, go down already. Shit. Kind of had to use that because I was missing left and right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, come on. Alright, up I go. And do this again. And I missed in friggin' tactical time dilation too. Fuck me. I almost got him. I almost got him. Square in the face. There we go. Like that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, boy. 
Didn't mean to do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. There we go. Much better. Oh, and I can turn it off, too. Hell yeah. And they're flanking me to boot. Come on. Jesus. Come on. You gotta cover. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect him to be hitting me from here. I should have. And that's on me. Alright. Okay. You're still here? There we go. Well, since you were just stuck there, instead of just doing anything... Oh, jeez. I killed residents, too. It's messed up. Man, these guys are real bastards. Ooh, another light pistol. That I will eventually replace this one with. Because until I start tinkering with one, there's no point in having favoritism in regards to which one I want to keep. For the long haul. Okay, well. You're dead. And looted. How about you? Yep, you're dead and looted. You're dead and looted. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I think I looted all of them from here. So now it's just looting the ones over here. Hey, good shit. Oh, and I can open this to boot. Hell yeah. Get in here in a second. First things first, making sure I loot all the bodies that were over here. Just so I'm not shocked when I find out later, oh, I didn't loot them at all. Fuck me. Something going on over there. I do not like the sound of. All right. Put this away. What do we got here? Oh, bits. Oh, yeah. Pick up a bit cartridge. That's already in the friggin' thing. Cool. Grab Zero G Brew. Trip Teas. Not sure what that is. Gourmet Salt Tuna Filets. Whatever that is. Some Mag Picks. Hell yeah. Hey, and it's free. Fuck yeah. Spade. Spacer's choice. It's not just a suit. It's not just a suit and a deck of cards anymore. It's an actual weapon. All right. Grab all this. Hell yeah. Music box. Did not expect the tune. <laughs> Overhauled power helmet. This helmet has been modified by the last marauder who wore it. It looks sturdy, but it smells. Ooh, gross. Small percentage of weapons and armor you find may be considered pristine. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't read all of that, but it's fine. It's fine. I understand the gist of it. It's pristine, lasts longer, and is cooler. Hey, there we go. This spacer's corona, whatever the fuck that is. Oh no, it's corona. You know what that means, guys. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know what it means, but it's stupid. It's a stupid joke. It was the stupidest joke I could have come up with, and let's be honest, I've come up with several stupid jokes. It's kind of my thing. Oh, hey! Cool. What am I at? 136. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. Uh, let's change up what I have equipped. Because this is getting really beat up. Uh, equip. Not there. There we go. Better. Oh, I can hold on to it and swap that way. I never knew. Hmm. Cool. Never knew that. Never tried it. All right. Let's unequip this. Um, One-handed melee weapons. This causes bleed. This one causes stun. Hmm. I think I prefer the possibility of bleed. I'll be honest. There we go. How many would this give me? Only one. Hell no. Well, I mean... I'll see if I get more out of the workbench. But uh, for right now, this is fine. Spade. Spacer's choice. No. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Armor management. To wear an armor or helmet item, navigate to the item and select it. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, attack them as junk, or drop them. Sounds good to me. Still wearing the hibernation suit. Spacer's choice. I'm not sure if this was a spacer's choice thing. Maybe. Maybe it was. The suit is designed to be used in hibernation pads. Standard gear for every colonist making the long journey to Halcyon. Sounds good to me. And an overhauled power... Oh, that was the thing that was pristine. Hell yeah. Well, it would also sell for more. Hmm. Pristine sells for more and keeps their durability longer. So, it's a very good reason to hold on to them. Break this down for three. Break this down for three. I don't have a helmet yet. But, uh... Kind of thinking I should at some point work on it. Oh, it only returns three armor parts. There's no point breaking that down. No way. All right. Oh, that actually has stuff I need to look at. Okay. Boop. There we go. Loot. Exploration. Basics. Nope. Oh, there it is. Cool. Just to kill air those out. All right. There we are. Onward we go. Okay. I think we've cleared out everything we're going to have to be able to clear out. And by going to have to be, I mean optionally chose to murder. But, I mean, they were in our way. Kind of justified in that respect. Really only that respect. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I can... Ooh. I can go into there. Sorry, I had to yawn. What the fuck? Oh, geez. Okay. My God. Jesus. Holy shit. I did not expect them to be able to kill me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was expecting I could just kill them quickly. All right. Okay. Okay. Embarrassing. Okay, that was embarrassing as fuck. But, now that I know for sure, I've already looted this place out. Yep, I did. Cool. Did I do all my inventory stuff already? Kinda? Yeah, okay. 
Did I do that with... Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. Cool. Okay, it does actually pause time. That's good. Use these controls to attack and block. Most melee weapons can perform a three-swing combo. All melee weapons can block. Cool. Good to know. Time to run. And now this time I'm prepared. I was surprised because most of them run. And most of them die in one hit, usually. Hey, son of a bitch. Alright, killed you. Killed you. Come on, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! Level three. Oh. Two hour energy brew. Well, time for level three. Yeah, I'll put some points here. Uh, put some points here. Yeah, put a little more, maybe. There. Just to make dodge more worthwhile. Hmm. And... Hmm. Put one here. There we go. I like that. Kind of. Somewhat acceptable spread. Alright. Um, codex again. There we go. Melee attacks and blocking. Perfect. Makes sense. Did I get... No, I didn't. Damn it. I'm stupid. Vendor. Taste the freedom. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items a, on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. All right. So be good with the company or be a good hacker. Be a good hacker man. Okay. Fair enough. Let me look at all this. Okay. Advanced defensive helmets. Uh, whoever said the best advanced defense was a good advanced offense was probably wearing this helmet. That was a bit of a tongue twister because I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Fair enough. Armor is okay. Yeah, this is okay. Just realized I'm hearing a vacuum up of. Oh well, it's fine. Alright, I cannot sell. I do not have that option yet. Do not have that hacker man skill. But. Eventually. Eventually I will. Hmm. Nothing I particularly want out of this. So it's fine. Alrighty. That's a jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Tried the rest. Tried the best. Now try the rest. There we go. That was what it was. Because normally it's you've tried the rest. Now try the best. But that's not how they sell their shit. Nuh-uh. Mm -mm. Not around here they don't. I am not wasting friggin' anything on that. Fuck that. Just a door to head outside. There's probably nothing out there anyway, so no, I'm not doing that. Just watch. I'm missing out on something because I'm too unwilling to use magpix until I can make it free. Oh, well, there is a couple of things. Uh... 
Ah, trying to jump and get them. Can I get them through? Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. Put this away. There we go. Transition to Edgewater. I could do that. Or I could go this route and walk through a graveyard. Edgewater Cemetery. How long has this been here? Because this is a lot of this is a lot of bodies. And a couple of dug holes for eventual ones, I guess. And some not as fancy ones of these? Yeesh. It's not good. It's not a good look at all. Hmm. Couple people over here. Hi there. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Uh, behind you, from over there. Except technically you've never seen me before, so that must be really weird to you. Oh, I can't steal that. I saw the blue outline and thought I could take it, but, uh, it's a stealing thing. Not gonna do that. Hi there. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Uh, Mike, how do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Oh, okay. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't Fair enough. Out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Nice ad. Um. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's I mean, Silas. kind of. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Junior in humor? Fancy title for a grave digger. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. You seem pretty old to be a junior anything the rate i've been working i'm bound to earn a promotion must be about 50 60 burials away from associate in humor um you have to wait for 50 or 60 people to die before you then get that promotion um i guess that's a a sort of dark humor that given your profession would be understandable however what the fuck man it's messed up it's messed up who do i talk to about a power regulator definitely not the junior in humor that's for sure if you've okay. got business inquiries you should stop by reed thompson's office he's hmm. up in the tower above the cannery Head into town, follow the road. Look, okay. You obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I mean, depends on the work. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. What? Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? might delinquent in their dues when you're making people pay for their graves company policy if it was up to me i'd put the whole town 10 feet under free of charge why can't you collect them yourself quotas mostly got a backlog of graves to fill bodies won't bury themselves you know okay <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking holy shit. All right. I'll collect them for you, I guess. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, mm -hmm. Conrad, Ludwig. Phyllis, Conrad, Martin. Ludwig, and Martin. He's a special case. You uh, may want to twist his arm a little. Special case, huh? Why is Abernathy a special case? 
He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. You don't want to get into it. But you want me to get it anyway. Alright. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Mm -hmm. Lewis works at the cannery most hours. Mm -hmm. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. There was something else I wanted to ask. Yeah? I mean, it must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Um... I mean, I get that diseases can sometimes happen on the frontier, but a virulent plague that keeps a grave digger employed with as many graves as I passed by. And he hasn't even made associate yet. He's still a junior in humor. Um. I start to question. I start to question the leadership involved in that company. Just a little. Just a little bit. How long have you been a junior in humor, grave digger? Whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Um. It's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Fair enough. You lose a lot of people to marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh. What are they after, loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Wait. Wait, I'm sorry. Did I hear you say the company property is the bodies that are in the grave? The bodies in the grave are the company property. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Oh my gods. Oh, this is just... This is... This is beyond late stage capitalism. This is advanced late stage capitalism. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. couple more questions to ask in this thing uh lose a lot of people to marauders uh if you got a marauder problem i can take care of it well if you're gonna go head hunting talk to constable reyes back in town he pays for marauders by the finger the finger hmm. any idea where they're coming from couldn't tell you no i mean I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Oh, really? Ah, avoid it. Shouldn't have said that either. Look, forget I said anything. I see. So you can't say it because you don't want to, and also the company says you don't want to. I see. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for the time. Because I learned a lot. I learned a little more than I uh, expected I was gonna. 
Wow. It's more than even the ones I passed by to get here. Jesus fucking... I think... I think Virulent Plague doesn't do it justice. Hmm. I think fucking Black Death has just as equal a kill count. Oh, these would be stolen if I touch them. Mm, okay, then. Can I touch the terminal? I can. Good. Terminal access. Welcome, Junior and Humor. Messages. From the association. Okay. Okay. Dear reader, your subscription to the Inhumers Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovel's Gazette and Quarterly. Alrighty. From Human Resources. Emerald Vale Division. Official advertisement text. Edgewater Cemetery is a property of the Spacer's Choice Company. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of its own from the cradle to the grave. You're telling me they... You're telling me they look... They... They take babies. They take the baby. And then they make it a worker from birth. When he said it was all his life, I assumed it was all his adult life. I didn't realize he meant literally all his life. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Gravesite plots and headstones are provided by Spacious Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable, spacious plots. You know, things that you are you know, looking forward to when you're dead. Custom engraved headstones and monograms. You know, things you're looking forward to when you're dead. Complimentary eulogy, courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. You know, things that you're looking forward to when you're dead. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Spacer's Choice brand gravesite. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything more? Inventory logs. Okay. Burial invoice. Password required. Easily bypassed. Theodore Granger. Cause of expiration, industrial accident. Burial site status. Successfully in for interred. In gravesite 13F. Gravesite fees paid and accounted. In humor's addendum, Teddy's corpse was missing a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. Sure. Yeah. Kindly fellow. That's the word I'd use. Sure. Why not? Wowzers. Okay. Well. You can always tell the state a town is in 
when you get a good look at their graveyard. That was uh, definitely enlightening. Hmm. Had to take a long drink after that one. Edgewater discovered. It's just a normal home. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Sick house is no place for a trap. Oh. Gotcha. They're, uh, they're kind of conveniently close to the graveyard area, don't you think? Is it because it's that dire situation? Mm -hmm. Starting to get more and more depressed. Well, this is the barber shop. Hey there, Conrad. I was told to talk to you. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. I mean, physical hygiene maybe too late. Moral hygiene, cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Um, I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm calm. Um, you will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacers. You see body parts often. You will also Weren't you a bobber? In the event of your barber? Where oh. You clean and prepare your remains for interment. Oh. Oh. So you double dipping in jobs for the company, huh? You You work as a barber. But also, <laughs> you also work, you moonlight, if you will, as the coroner. <laughs> Prepare my remains for what? Burial, in the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. The Technically, those are two separate jobs. Very, very different jobs. In almost every aspect. There's no reason to combine those two jobs. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of burials, Silas sent me to collect your fees. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had Silas. talked about this My at bad. length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You used a lot of weirdly big words there. And, uh, with my very relatively advanced vocabulary, my basic translation for some people in English is, you mean you broke as shit, but... As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Whoa. Um, you have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. 
Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Right. Tell Silas, I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Uh -huh. Wait, hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Um, so let me get this straight. So they have you working so much on the bodies that have to go through you before they then get buried by Silas in the damn near look like hundred grave sites. That they're already in for most of them. And you're telling me the company doesn't pay you enough to pay for your own gravesite fees. Even though you're essentially doing two jobs that are drastically different from each other. At the same time. So you mean to tell me. That you then do not get paid enough to then keep the business afloat, which then forces you to use your own savings to run the business you are paid for to run. I... I'm at a loss for words. F fucking wow. Yikes. Oof, my dude. Ha. <laughs> Just give him an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Okay. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. You're welcome. I mean, you have some ammo you don't need. You have some weapon parts you don't need. You have a service award you don't need. Well, the scientist is deader than shit. The guard is deader than shit. Hmm. Receptionist shot himself. Oh boy. Here we go. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice Property. Oh. So I wasn't wrong with what I heard a little bit ago. I wasn't wrong in assuming that that was what I heard. Okay. All right. Sure. Bodies are Spacer's Choice property. From the cradle to the grave. Wow. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. 
Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Well, I mean... I'm sorry, he got it inherited from the family? So then they were put in his mouth? And it was a full set of teeth? What? You are... What? <laughs> wow. Okay. Talk again. What can I do for you? Uh. You sound like you've had a, some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Uh, I wouldn't say doctor, only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice certified surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. 58? I mean, I was talking about myself when we were using the term doctor loosely, but I mean... 58 is not a good percentage. Like it all, bud. Like it all. Jesus. Uh, I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. Uh, I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Yeah, well. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. The, I'm sure he won't miss them. <laughs> because, I mean, he's dead after all. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. Um... I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I mean, you can. You're gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. Whew. This was a dark conversation. Oh boy. Cantina, huh? All right. I think I might have to go in here. This was this whole interaction was dark. The latest report. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Tannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. So they're not meeting their quotas because some people left? I don't know you. I mean... Should I lie or tell the truth? I mean, I get points for lying. I'll go with the lie. Captain, Haw <laughs> Captain Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. The unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I mean, I don't know what not. you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. Mm -hmm. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Right. Something going on here. I sh <laughs> what a fine establishment it is. 
You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckon you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. Understandable. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. What's this about deserters? <laughs> Traitors. A lot of them. Oh. A bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already mm -hmm. struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. A Look lot of insults. Them. A lot of creative insults being thrown in their direction. Want to talk to Reed? Where can I find him? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. If you want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. I mean, you say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. I mean, okay, I should go. All right. That was kind of enlightening. Just don't do my job and uh, I will get attention. You know, technically I don't have a job here. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Um, are you talking to yourself there, bud? Hey, Martin. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um... You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? A bit. I'm positive you mentioned something about the plague. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I mm -hmm. swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. You should put a sign over the door or something, or at least cover your mouth. And become the town pariah? I'm already the oldest worker in town. I don't need to give them another reason to avoid me. Hmm. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't you? Do a good turn for an expiring old man? Depends on what you need. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. Okay. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger mm -hmm. than what we got anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast. I've got some questions. I'll do what I can. All right. Why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Um... So what you're saying is the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. That defeats the purpose of medicine. <laughs> what in the fuck is with the 
this company. You have to be healthy to get medicine. Which you then would not need because you're not sick yet. But if you get too sick... Then you don't get medicine. I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Okay. You never mentioned marauders. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, sky is gray, marauders are outside the walls. Hmm. Pardon me? I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Okay, calm down. Calm down. It's probably not that bad yet. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. I think that's the least of the problems. You know, you're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but he never did find my courage. I see. Also, I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. I Look, don't I know about that part. He's right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. I'll leave you be, then. Got the gravesite fee. Okay. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Uh, okay. How did you know that I was working for Abernathy? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard mm -hmm. your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasting okay. on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Mm-hmm. You're saying that he's possibly off his nut. Just a little bit off his rocker. Just a little bit empty in the old noggin. A little bit screwy. Okay. What did you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Hmm. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. I appreciate the offer. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. Don't let the boss catch you saying that. Nothing but salt tuna for a year. That can't be healthy. In the slightest. Oy. Everything is stolen. Everything I want to pick up is stolen if I do. Jesus. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Alcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. I'm sorry, you have to purchase investigations? You have to pay to have a criminal investigation done? 
wow, that's messed up. If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a spacer's choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Okay. Sounds good to me. I can do that. I'm very good at that. I proved that earlier. However, when it's suddenly rabid sprats, that was not my highest point. Uh, I've got some questions for you, if you don't mind. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Fair enough. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Um, let's see if I, if I say the truth, would that, would that give her enough reason to assume that I'm lying if I'm going this far into the truth? He kidnapped me, unfroze my body, and shot me into space. Then I landed here. Mm-hmm. Shot you into space. You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice Constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. It's a good thing I don't belong to the Spacer's Choice family. It is for Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Mm -hmm. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Okay, I assumed you were my nearest board authority. There was one other thing. Something to report? Eh, not really. I, I just had to bring it up. Ooh, bounty records. Uh, closed bounties. None. Open bounties. Guillaume Antrim. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name. Someone in, someone in chat or the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. Guillaume Gil Antrim. Background, former Spacious Choice Associate Mechanic, terminated from his position. Constable's Memorandum. The Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, Termination, and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Guillaume Gill Antrim, effective immediately. Some of you may remember Gill Antrim from his days in the cannery. Please be advised that Spacer's Choice no longer recognizes Mr. Antrim as a member of this valued family. Spacer's Choice advises its workers in good standing to remain in good standing by disabusing themselves of any sympathy, allegiance, or memory toward Mr. Antrim. Generous bounty. Payment on delivery. You must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Fair enough. Doc Maybell Burgess. Background. Former Spacer's Choice Physician. No wonder everyone's getting sick as much as they are. Abandoned her duties and disappeared from Edgewater at large and considered dangerous. Constable's Memorandum. Hmm. The Spacer's Choice Department of Retire Termina Retirement, Termination, and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Doc Maybell Burgess, effective immediately. Doc Maybell is wanted for three counts of larceny, two for each parcel of stolen Adrena time, and one for depriving the outpost of its official physician. Generous bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Alrighty. Birdie Cotton. Bertie Cotton, rather. Wanted Bertie Cotton. Background. Former Vicar acting on behalf of the Order of Scientific Inquiry, stationed at t Station 2, the Edgewater Vicarage. Suffered psychological breakdown upon showing symptoms of plague, at large and dangerous. Constable's Memorandum. Mm. Psychological breakdown upon showing symptoms of the plague. Well, I mean, considering how... It is essentially a death sentence around here. I can understand. 
The Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, Termination, and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Bertie Cotton, effective immediately. The Order of Scientific Inquiry has declined a response. Fair enough. Vicar Cotton's sermons are considered defunct and obsolete. Spacious Choice advises purging them from your memory with the help of Zero-G. Zero-G brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Wow. They had to force a fucking advertisement into the memorandum of saying this motherfucker needs to die. Wow. Alrighty. Generous bounty. Payment on delivery. Must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Alrighty. That says a lot. Wish we had some better rations. Just the way it goes, I suppose. Alrighty then. What am I looking at? Oh, just a lot of scrap bits. Okay, that's fair. Use terminal. Welcome, Holcomb P. There are currently three open trouble tickets. 65565. Five. Filed by Topson. AG Loader Serial 023745. Failure on startup. Hmm. Priority medium. Steps to reproduce. Turn on engine. Try it again. Try it again. Kick the loader. Curse injured toes. I have to enter a minimum of eight steps. Try it again. It makes a rattling noise. Maintenance notes. Dang it, Clancy, I just got you back up on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you got feet, but you know what I mean. Sound like his stator's off axis again. We'll clean out and reset. Clancy's guts got caught and all pulled out, likely on account of somebody trying to restart them over and over again. Need to rewind, need to rewind, rather, not rewind. Rewind all the coiling and number four. Okay, stator's working, but there's something else off. Have to wait until it's quiet and spin them up for a listen. Alrighty. Wait, did she name the machine Clancy? Maybe. For 65587. Priority. Filed by Topson. Of course. Failure of main cannery production line at heat processing. Status open. Priority executive. Steps to reproduce. Startup production line according to schedule S46701A. File, observe processing of cans. Blech, I was trying to read the next step. That was my problem. Follow first batch to heat processing stage. One or more loud popping noises. Smoke, smell of burned saltuna. Overheat klaxon on monitor six. Flames jet from exhaust ports. Automatic shutdown. Maintenance notes. Likely as not, Bess got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again. Heading over now. Alrighty. Bess. So she does name the machines. Okay. This issue has been open for zero days. Miller L. Damned mechanicals. Open low. Priority... Automatically reset to low by executive level admin rule applied by Thompson R. Reason trouble ticket filled. <laughs> the reason it was set to low is because it was set by Miller in the first place. Okay. Steps to reproduce. Look northwise. I said northwise, <laughs> you blasted useless translator. Near scrap pile. Could be northeast from towns, I guess. Observe mechanical. Clanking about all menacing like. See it. It's right there. No notes on this ticket yet. All right. Okay, so... They're known as a official wackadoodle. Enough that uh, they were immediately changed from <laughs> the uh, thing they had them set at to low. Whatever they had it at, l whatever level they had it at, it was then set to low. 
Apparently a mechanical sitting out in an evil place or something. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm allowed to do this without it being considered stealing. Just a little bit. What the fuck? Is this a board game? I don't think I understand what's going on in the board game. I kind of want to, though. Oh. oh. Pre-sliced bread. Bread noodles. Again, misspelled. Tarmac and cheese. That doesn't really sound that appetizing. Not gonna lie. Bypass shunt. Nothing special here. Alright. Bathroom. Nothing special here. Balcony. Oh, bypass shunt. Alright. Found a number, number, number of bypass shunts. And heavy ammo. And a booze. And another bypass shunt. Hell yeah. Okay. Open last search. Control Alt F7 Enter to compose a new entry. Open last search. Indemati. Two records found. First entry. Indemati left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terror One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I look up and think of you. Note from Indumati. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present you are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. Ah. So that was Indumati's wish was that the name was Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Wow. That is insane. She didn't have a name or a birth date until she was transferred to the father. That is... Jeez. Oh, wow. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. One record found. Let's open it. I sat up last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll make the next volume into work at the cannery. I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well start reading the whole thing again. Okay. Let's back out of that. Huh. Yeesh. Nah, I'll leave that door closed. I will, however, use this workbench. Modifications. To install your mod, first select the item you wish to upgrade. Then choose what type of mod you wish to install. Scope, armor plating, etc. Finally, picking the mod to install and boom, you upgraded your item. Both weapons and armor can be modified. Mods can't be removed once they're used, so put them on your favorite gear. 
jock weapons are built from this is the ha <laughs> jock weapons are built for the discerning warrior who wants a custom and personalized weapon just like everyone else right all right well i will destroy this because this is worthless to me well i mean maybe not it's stagger stagger not Oh, this also does a bleed? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Break these down. Oh, this still only gets me one. Ah, fuck. Alright, well. I tried. Eh. Don't need more than one. I'll hold on to this for a little bit. Just in case. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, well. I've run around. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Those marauders got in. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Oh, he thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of this all too, but... You moron. Well! Well then. That's interesting. And depressing. Spaces. Kois. Because some of those letters are burnt out. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I think I'm going to end the episode. Well, episode. End the stream here for right now. Episode as well, because it'll be going up on YouTube. But, uh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Some of the things I missed on my first playthrough. Oh, boy. Some of the things... Uh, just hits you hard no matter how many times you play it. Whew. Anyway. I'm going to end the stream here for right now and end for the YouTube crowd in just a bit. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and streaming and getting friggin' shell shock from all the corporate bullshit that apparently is allowed to get... <laughs> to get you're allowed to get away with here in this universe that f fuck if that would not immediately lead to revolution in this universe or maybe not it's hard to say for you